Howdy folks. Well, I got a little bit done. Happy New Year, first of all. I'll be posting this this evening, uh, 1st of January of 2019. So I got a little bit done just now this evening. Ran the, this is the steam line, for the quick start valve that I made and I've posted the videos about making that. This is the steam ejector line that will go down and it goes into the ejector which will come out right here, the one in the center. This is the water supply line for the axle pump. This is the return line that will go to the uh, bypass valve. And in the middle is just enough room for the ejector. There, It's a loco parts ejector. The flashlight is right underneath it right now. And so it is fastened there. Got the quarter inch copper line coming up and I have a, a um, union here so that I can undo that and remove the ejector down below. The, <clears throat> excuse me, the hole here is three eighths of an inch, which is big enough to fit the fitting that will go, the threaded fitting that would remain there. So I do need to silver solder all that together and it should fit fine. In a minute, I'll put the camera down and try to put the cab in place and show you how that fits. The other thing I got done was I finished the line coming back from, this is the, the bypass line from the axle pump. So uh, weeks ago I had finished the axle pump supply line to the boiler. This is a loco parts check valve. That's a PM Research T valve that I, or T fitting that I machined to accept the copper pipe. So I've got copper tubing rather, comes back here. I did put in a union as well, mainly because I wanted to be able to re remove this. The only other fitting that I had in that line was the flare fitting, the quarter inch copper flare fitting there. So it was smart to have a union in there. Again, the threaded fitting is on that side so I can uh, remove that part and then remove, loosen that and remove it. I'll be able to remove that line if I need to for whatever reason. And I did make use of a little copper elbow down there below. So that's all ready to get silver soldered up. And I'll try a little experiment here. As you know, if you've watched my videos, you know I don't have a lot of fancy camera equipment. I'm shooting these from the with the use of an iPhone, which takes pretty good pictures. Anyway, let me set this thing up. There we go. Set it up. Lean it against something here. I'll get the cab and try to put it in place for you. Being very careful not to knock the steam valve. And let me get that lined up where it's supposed to go. And there's something I wanted to show you. I use the Center scribe to help line things up in the hole. This should mark that a little better. There we go. Alright. So that's lined up. That's where it's going to sit. If you can see that very well. Pick up the camera again. See my high tech use of the crescent wrench there to hold the lid open, but. I needed to do that, I was fiddling around. I needed to run, the reason for these elbows, I needed to run the ejector steam supply line so that it would clear the prop, the support prop rod. I'm sorry about that, there we go. This is the little brass support prop rod that I made and it's resting in this little aluminum rest there. And that, what that does, it goes into this spot right here to hold the roof of the cab in place where I think I'll be when I'm operating it. So I needed that, that line to clear it. Originally I had it coming out and it would interfere. So this should work nicely. And the quick start valve just lays flat just below the, the plane surface of the, of the cab lid when it's closed. So... Hope that'll be okay. It looks pretty decent, I think. And it keeps that, that one uh, line out of the way fairly much. As Fred has pointed out, I can always 
paint it black and it'll disappear but that's how it looks for now and I think it looks okay we'll get these things silver soldered up and then the only remaining thing the main thing I'll need to do after that will be to run the line for the lines for the injector the water supply so making some progress. Thanks again for watching. I'll keep y'all posted.